back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a video that I've been wanting to film for a really long time and it is the Cheap Art Supplies Challenge video. And I'm super excited because I love to try budget art supplies and see how well they perform and I actually am hopefully going to be doing a video sometime in the near sort of distant future um, where I will be helping you guys set up a cheap and really, really like decent quality beginning watercolor set. Um, so that's something to look forward to, but this is like the cheapest of the cheap that I could find and I'm really excited about it. So before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the supplies that I have. So for brushes, I have these. They're the Royal Langnickel Big Kids Choice Arts and Crafts brushes. I'm guessing it just says Arts and Crafts, but they are brushes. <laughs> um, and they're Soft Natural Hair Artist Brush Set and they come in sizes one, three, and five. And these were 99 cents at Joann's for the whole packet, which I thought was really cool. And I decided to try these out because first of all, they're fun colors and I appreciate that. And second of all, they were natural hair. So I thought that'd be cool to try out some like natural hair ones. And you can't really beat 99 cents. And I had a much like greater success, like bigger range of um, like cheap art supplies in the kids section. So yeah. Just check out the kids section if you want to try cheap art supplies. So yeah, those are the brushes that I have. Um, for the watercolors, I decided to go with good old Crayola because I wanted to use pan watercolors, not tube watercolors. And also, they were the cheapest. So <laughs> there you go. And I think this was $5.99 or $4.99 and it comes with 16 colors and one paintbrush, which I do not believe I will be using because I have my own, but let's take a look at it. Hey, it could actually be worse. Normally they come with those like black bristly ones that are really like plasticky and horrible. So maybe we will try this out. So this is what it looks like. It has all the different colors, white, navy, like a cerulean, a bunch of different greens, dark green, light green, yellowy orange, ready orange, purple, a lot of different reds. Good color selection. So yeah, so many colors. Reminds me of my childhood. Okay, um, for the paper, I am gonna be using this. It is the Strathmore Paint Pad. It was $3.99 at Michael's, and by Michael's I mean Joann's. This is all from Joann's. <laughs> and um, it's Paint Pad Textured Watercolor Paper, and it's Series 100, and I got this because their cheap watercolor paper by Strathmore in the artist section actually felt worse, so I was pretty excited about that, and I'm excited to try it out. For the rest of my supplies, um, this is what I have. I have this for the eraser that I'm gonna be using to erase the pencil. Um, it is my sister's and it is from the dollar store and I know because I got it for her and it says princess on it. So dollar store, that's pretty cheap. Um, I have some masking tape. This is also from the dollar store in the automotive section. And then cheapest chips, I have a black Sharpie thin liner to um, line it because this is the cheapest waterproof that I could find. And to be fair, you might be able to find like a cheaper off-brand Sharpie in like the dollar store or something, but I already had these and I know they're really inexpensive, so. And then this uh, mechanical pencil, which is from the dollar section at Target. So yeah, that is everything that I'm gonna be using and let's get started and see how this goes. All right, guys, so I thought that I would kind of share my opinions on how this challenge went. Um, I don't feel like this challenge was as hard as it could have been, but it was definitely challenging. Um, I will start with the paper. The paper was my least favorite thing that I got. It was felt like it was the hardest to work with, um, but it still wasn't a terrible paper. Um, I'm going to give it like a C minus. Uh, the pros, it didn't buckle, um, really. I mean, it did a little bit, but not that much. And it didn't start, like, coming apart at when I put in a lot of water and stuff like that. Like, it didn't start, the paper didn't start, like, tearing or crumbling to pieces. So that was really good. Um, the issues that I have with the paper, the biggest issue was that it feathered a lot. Um, so, like, I would draw a line with my Sharpie and it would, like, blur out. And I would paint and it would blur out into, like, a really feathery look which was okay in some places but in other places it made it hard to get kind of a crisp definition. I also had a really big problem with lifting. The paint just wanted to lift off the paper like crazy. Now I don't know if this is the paper's fault or the paint's fault so I guess I'll talk about the paint next. Um, 
the paint was decent. Um, I wouldn't give it a B, maybe like a C plus. Um, it was quite pigmented. It did dilute really, like when I mixed in water, it got um, pastel very quickly. But if I used a lot of the paint, like I, it wasn't hard to get a vibrant color. I'll just say that. Um, the issues that I did have with the paint, like I said before, I had a lot of trouble with it lifting whenever I tried to blend or put another color on top of a color. And then I also had an issue when I started getting into the heavier layers and adding in more darks where uh, it got really shiny and um, I think that's just because of what they put in the paints. I'm not really sure what they put in the paints but if you look at these paints in the pan they're very shiny and when they dried they had a shiny texture um, and that was only in some areas but you know it was irritating but not too irritating like they weren't horrible to work with I wouldn't choose to work with them but um, so yeah as far as the brushes go these brushes were awesome they were 99 cents and they were at the bomb.com they held their point really well um, they were pretty springy and they held a decent amount of water and they didn't shed at all like I did not find one hair on that like painting like these paintbrushes were awesome. They were 99 cents and they're some of the best paintbrushes I've ever used. My Sephora like $30 blush brush sheds more than these paintbrushes do. Like what? I don't even like, huh. these were such awesome paintbrushes. If you want cheap paintbrushes, seriously guys, go get these. Like they were great. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of the struggles that I had with the materials that I got. Um, the Sharpie was also really hard. It was just really hard to line with and I had a hard time lining just in general because I couldn't turn the paper and I tried not to get my head in the way but I was working on the floor so my head is like in this video a lot so that's kind of awkward but you know it's me if my head isn't in a video is it really a hello Alice video all right so I'm gonna pause the narration for just one second because I have something to explain that I was explaining in real life okay guys so I totally forgot to include any sort of white paint or white gel pen so I am going to be using this um, it is titanium white gouache and it's from Artist Loft and I thought this would be a good one to use because um, this is from the gouache set by Artist Loft that so you can get at Michaels and it's only $4.99 for the entire set so definitely would have been the cheapest option um, if I had remembered in advance so <laughs> um, I just happened to already own it so $4.99 for a whole set which is like I don't know I think it was like 16 colors but I'm just going to be using the white so just a quick little uh, interruption to let you guys know that I will also be using this. Okay, I'm back. Um, we're pretty much close to being done now. I'm just kind of adding some extra details. Um, I will say about the Artist, Lo Artist Loft gouache, um, it worked great. Uh, I like it. It was good. It was an opaque white paint, so there wasn't a whole lot to say about it, but um, it was definitely a good cheap alternative, but I think jelly ball rollers aren't that expensive anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this was a really fun challenge to try and I really felt like I pushed myself to do something that I wouldn't normally do and that was exciting and it was fun to use different materials. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are going to try the cheap art challenge and how cheap can you make a picture and yeah, as always, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys! Purple. Daddy! <laughs> oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is so pretty! Come here! Maybe yeah. we should have just put the paint on the paper. Yeah, maybe. That would have been a good idea. Do you want to